You're a mean one, Mr Grinch. Dr Seuss first unleashed the Grinch on us in 1957 and now he's back just in time for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. From the Despicable Me team, Benedict Cumberbatch is the voice behind the Christmas-loathing Mr Grinch. My eyes are burning. The mayor wants Christmas to be three times bigger this year. Finally, something you said is actually funny. Yeah, I do kill a lot, but no. With news the Who's are ramping up their celebrations, the Grinch decides to steal Christmas in an attempt to get some peace and quiet. Look at those greedy little gift monsters. Ready? Oh, hey, look, it's me. Ah! And it appears project correspondent Julia Vogel dressed up as the main star. I've only got this much of face now. It's literally just that. Like a sort of, yeah. <laughs> Hope I don't get Sergi Leone thing. Yeah, just these eyes going. <laughs> That's brilliant. brilliant. Are you a Christmassy person or are you a Grinchy person? I mean, look, I don't wear novelty, you know, reindeer socks or, or, or you know, we often have at, at work, we have the Christmas uh, jumper competition. But I, I'm not at the sort of really kind of high on it who level. Um, I'm not, I'm definitely not on the grumpy, grinchy, I'm gonna take it all away and steal it level. Um, somewhere in the middle. Joining the Grinch on his anti-Christmas crusade are a couple of loyal mates, Fred and Max. You know the rules, you sleep in your bed and I sleep in. Oh no, no, not you two, I don't believe this. Max, did you teach him puppy eyes? Fine this one time. The Grinch's morning routine is quite regimented and of course he's got the help of his trusty canine Max who... I mean, how, you say how, we just, I, the, an emotional and physical crutch. I don't think anybody <laughs> would be able to, I, the Grinch wouldn't be able to get out of bed if it wasn't for Max. Absolutely, it's so Everything. cute. He makes his coffee. Um... Just, he doesn't just make his, I mean this is, can we just talk about his barista skills? He paints the most detailed <laughs> unhappy emoji on the top of the flat white. He then chooses out the right outfit for the day make sure that all his ablutions are going well, the words he's not embarrassed to behold, and basically is just there at every step and turn of this guy's day. Mm, he's loyal, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, and hard working. With plans to pose as Santa, the Grinch's loyal pooch gets a special task. Max, I'm promoting you. You will guide my sleigh tonight. <laughs> Max may be guiding the Grinch, but just who was guiding Benedict? My brilliant director, Scott, brought it all to life. So when there wasn't animation to look at, which was most of the time, he would pitch what the thing was going to look like, who else was in it, and what we were all doing, and what the effect was hopefully going to be in that moment. And then you're kind of left to your own devices going, OK, so... So, for example, the, the, the loud snow crunch in one scene... I, I, I've heard snow crunch loudly on the winter's night. I imagine that just kind of turned up a lot, but I didn't have that to play with, you know. <laughs> so, um, you just kind of get on and do it. 